welcome. How's it going? It's all right. Today, uh, <laughs> today was not a good day. Uh, in what way do you want to talk about it? Well, you, yeah, yeah. I mean, we could talk about it. Well, apart, from, it is Hitler's birthday, which is a bad. That's right, and people seem to celebrate by smoking pot. Yeah, I don't get that. It's a, it's Terrible. a little twisted. Um, but no, today, like, woke up in a good mood. I was like, had breakfast, and I was like, I'm gonna go for a bike ride today. And I go outside, and where I lock my bike, like up against, um, it's like a tra- traffic sign. It's gone. Oh boy. And so I just like saw it not there and I was like oh shit. Cuz what happened was the night last night I went out for like a little walk and on my way like turning the corner to my building I saw two guys by the bike and they were taking like something apart from the sign of where my bike is parked and I was just like in my head I was just like oh maybe they're stealing the sign. And one of the guys who was doing it was do, like right there. And another guy was like a little bit further away. And as I was walking, he, he was just like, yo, yo, yo. And, and the guy stopped and he looked at me. We locked eyes. And I looked at him. I was just like, they're not stealing my bike. They're stealing that sign because it's only like nine o'clock. It's not even that late. And it's a pretty busy street. There was literally another guy like walking towards me who you know just from around the corner so i was just like all right they're just stealing the sign like whatever i don't care about the signs they don't touch my bike Mm -hmm. and then i go into the um, building door and i like i don't know i just pull the window like in our little stairwell and i look out the window and one of the guys is standing on my bike like trying to do something with the sign above it so i was like okay yeah he's trying to steal the sign And then I go into my room and I just don't think about it until today. And I'm literally walking past where the sign is. And I just like kick a bolt that they clearly took out of the sign, (laughs) like down the sidewalk. I didn't even see it below me. And I was just like, oh, yeah, they stole the bike by removing the sign and lifting the bike over it, which is ridiculous because this the like pole is at least eight feet tall so it's like you gotta lift it over your head two three feet yeah and i was just like i was i was so pissed (laughs) it's a lot of work too and it takes like a lot of time you figure somebody would drive by and be like hey you know don't take that sign or that bike totally and the weird thing is there's a newer better bike just like (laughs) not even a half a block on the same sidewalk a little bit further down so you take that bike and that's just (laughs) the circle of life or the psych the cycle of the psych (laughs) if i had a like a little like checkmate kind of thing i would do that right now check yeah (laughs) but it was it's weird because my bike is old i bought it probably four or five years ago used for 60 bucks on craigslist Mm. like there's five gears on it three of them don't work um it's kind of rusted i've replaced the tires like five six times and one of the one of the gear things is just completely seized so there's like two pedals for the gears one of them you can kind of change and the other one is just broken well do Uh, you think it was a new uh, uh, time for a new bike oh 100 (laughs) percent so so now you have to buy it was and, and, and that's kind the of, bright side it is totally the bright side yeah the, the thing is, is like i spent a little money like a few weeks ago fixing it because i was like well i'm gonna be in quarantine might as well just like bike around yeah fixed it and then yeah they stole it. it it i'm not upset about the bike being stolen i'm upset that i literally saw them do it and <laughs> right. didn't be like hey what are you guys doing because there's two of them it was just me I'm in my sweats. I'm, Were they big guys? I, no, they're, I was probably bigger than both of them. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, height-wise. They were, yeah. But the fact that I locked eyes with a guy who was doing it, <laughs> and they didn't know, obviously, it was my bike. Yeah. And 
yeah, it was just kind of, and then when I went out to go bike and it wasn't there, I just was like, you know what? I'm just going to walk around the neighborhood and see if I can find it. Cause right. you know, who knows? They and they're like, uh, only two of these gears work. Yeah, exactly. They're like, Oh, this is a piece of garbage. Why did we steal this? <laughs> Why did we expose ourselves on this major street? Uh, and had multiple people walk by for a bike that was definitely not worth it. Yeah. And like, I, I like, etched my uh, initials and all of that into the bike like you're supposed to do just in case it does get stolen or it gets like, you know, they replace the wheels or whatever. It's just like the worst bike to steal because mm. I've gone into bike shops and be like, could I get the wheel replaced? And they're like, this bike's too old. We don't have replacement <laughs> wheels for this. Like it's a, like, it's a, like a weird sizing thing where it's just like, you know, the standards would be like 22 or 20 or whatever. And mine is like 19 and a half or something like that. And they're like, we don't, they don't make this anymore. It's one of those bikes where the front wheel is, is giant and the back wheel. <laughs> I mean, and you have to use a ladder to get up on it. <laughs> it's an old timey bike. And it just, you know, yeah. Even biking, like it, like has the metal screeching sound. Like it's just an old bike, but you're hundred percent right. It's, this was a great sign to be like, hey, buy a new bike. And it was just kind of like, yeah, I was just filled with rage because I was just like, if I see them, if I see this bike, oh, brother, where art thou? I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna take them. But yeah. So what, was your, what type of lock did you have? Not that that would help because they lifted it over, but maybe totally. it was like. It was, uh, it was the, like the kryptonite lock, the ones that like. You know. The stretchy one, like the coiled one? No, no, no. This is like the hard steel, uh, oh. like one loop kind of lock, basically. Yeah. It kind of looks like a closed horseshoe. Mm -hmm. And my mistake was because of the pole, I could only wrap it around the middle of the frame, which normally you're supposed to do the wheel and the frame. So in an event like this, even if they lifted it above, they couldn't bike away with it. Um, yeah. But yeah, like the lock is really well known for being basically indestructible. Um, mm -hmm. I, I don't know if it was like a. How are they gonna? Yeah, how are they gonna open it? Yeah, that is the key. That is the thing. Off. They they probably they probably just like go get one of those like a Dremel tool or something and just basically um, buzz or saw the steel off. Which you can do that. It's just very inconvenient if you're doing that in the street which yeah yeah um yeah. they i think they did that company did like a little promo or something like that where it was basically like, we lift this bike with our locks uh on the street and tr you know see how long it would take for someone to try to come and steal it and it was just like part of their selling point was, was like yeah it's pretty much impossible without drawing a lot of attention to like yeah. the fact that you're stealing it but yeah, you know, welcome COVID nineteen. Thank you. Well, I'm sorry that happened to you. Maybe <laughs> yeah, that's. No. The, do you think that's the start of people just looting on the street? I mean, I don't know. I, that's I've, dangerous. It is. I if people are willing to just do that right in the open for a shitty bike. Yeah. And and it's one thing if it's like. Um, one of those kind of lock situations where just like, oh, this isn't this much thing is just more you need the gumption to actually do it but it like the process isn't that like hard like mm -hmm. take like taking apart the bolts of like uh, a slow down sign basically in order for you to steal a bike seems like a lot of work but yeah i don't know i've never stolen a bike before yeah me neither every bike i've ever owned has been stolen though yeah and like I was talking to my brother and my parents and they're like, Oh, are you, you going to report it? I'm like, there's no point. <laughs> Can you they're, get low they're... jack on, on a bike? I, I, I could probably install something like that, but again, is it worth, I don't know how much low jack costs. Let's say low jack costs. I don't even know what it is. I've $500. Just heard... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. already way more expensive than the bike. <laughs> I, low jack's just like a chip. Or, or it's like a little thing, like uh, infrared something that um, basically like pings to to its source, and the source could be like, you know, in your home or on your phone or it's like whatever. 
and then you basically kind of are able to determine where it is you know i don't know a certain radius i suppose Mm -hmm. um but yeah it it's kind of it stealing bikes is just a thing and Mine wasn't even that expensive. I'm, I shouldn't even really be that pissed off about it. It's really my fault. But, right, but when you go outside and it's missing. Yeah, just kind of like a gut punch. I was just like, ah, man, yeah. not today. Maybe tomorrow, but not tomorrow, today. <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be fine if it was tomorrow. But today of all days, a Monday. A freaking Monday. When 420. News is at, yeah, 420. <laughs> like, you just wanted to celebrate <laughs> Hitler's birthday by sparking up a, a dube. Big dube. Yeah, man. I just want to. My bike's gone. Oh, great. (laughs) Yeah. I don't know. My neighborhood isn't also known for like high crime stuff in that sense. Like, obviously, there are neighborhoods that I've lived in in Manhattan or even in Queens. And I'm sure you know it just by like certain areas. You're like, oh, yeah, this is if you're going to get a bike stolen, this is probably where you should park your bike just because it's like, a lot of people can walk by maybe it's good coverage is you know whatever right it's like my especially in queen in astoria it's sort of like the suburbs in a way yeah. and so like my hometown there were always there's like certain blocks where oh you don't go down that block or you don't you know put it because that's the bad block that yeah you're gonna oh for sure on. well there there are um because newark um is really well known for carjacking and there are certain areas in newark where it's just like warehouses whether they're empty or not they're just full of warehouses so it's not a lot of foot traffic but there is like people will drive by it so if you happen to just park your car there and leave it overnight there's a good chance it's not going to be there in the morning just because you know, you and I could be walking down that street, see a car, and not necessarily encounter another person. You know, if it was a certain time of night, and you could just like take a car or whatever. Um, but yeah, I this is the first thing that has gotten stolen from me since like high school. Yeah. So I, my streak is broken. Well, again, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> no, I appreciate it. <laughs> If you want to pick up your bike, you can come by anytime. Oh, wow. Well, that's what I was kind of hoping. I was just like Is walking that it. <laughs> a friend took it as wow. a, a goof. Yeah, a friend just was playing a hilarious Impractical Jokers. <laughs> you know how like, what is that dumb show where it's just like, what would you do? And it's basically like. Where they put like someone's wallet yes. on the street. And, yeah. They'll, they'll do it like uh at restaurants where it's like uh a woman is slapping her child and there's a man (laughs) who's clearly like the mark and it's just like what would you do in this situation and you know it's what would you do (laughs) i mean what would you Maseret do in that situation i would think about saying something but again it's kind of like i think it all depends on like the severity of what is happening like if they are yelling at a child it's kind of like, this is not good, but it's also like, it's not your place really to step in. Mm-hmm. If they're getting physical, then it's just kind of like, I don't know. I think everybody probably does the like scan the room where it's just like, all right, is someone bigger and like more menacing to take care of this? <laughs> <laughs> Who wouldn't necessarily like step in and just be like, you know, just get pushed out of the way because it's just like, you know, I'm a, basically a pipsqueak you know right but if you're like a big dude you kind of have the pressure to just like step in all the time right i guess or not i don't know but yeah Yeah. i I, like that's what i was kind of hoping this was an elaborate prank where they're like this man's bike was stolen and now he's wandering the street seeing if the people who stole his bike left it in their front yard and you know, what would he do if he found it in this front yard? <laughs> and it's just like nothing. falling. <laughs> it turns out nothing. I mean, I had, again, I had a lot of thoughts. I was just like, if I found them, like if I found the house, I would, I would just like maybe just walk by, by it, you know, be real chill about it. And then like come back 
maybe I would call the cops and be like, hey, someone stole my bike. I found it. You better come before I throw a brick through their window. Yeah. And then, you know, do that. Um, or I've nothing. Had, I've, <laughs> I've had uh, road rage yeah. where I, somebody, so this is like a long time. I mean, when I had a car, but somebody like – cut me off coming out they were coming out of a gas station and i was driving down the main road and they honked at me like it was my fault they almost killed but not killed me but they almost crashed into me yeah uh so i and the guy stopped is like this old guy (laughs) not an old guy but like late older uh, like 50 mid 50s or well how old were you i was like 23 three or 24 yeah so it was an old an old geezer and so it was him and his young wife probably second wife <laughs> i love your, his young wife this guy's like old like 50 <laughs> something yeah she was like uh, i don't know how old she is yeah. but i so i had i was just going home so i had nothing to do i had time to kill so i just followed them <laughs> So like I don't know oh, why yeah. it was just my instinct. I'm gonna yeah. follow this guy. I'm gonna ride his ass, and uh, I followed him. Oh, <laughs> he caught on that I was following him, and I was I felt very cool because he turned down a road, and I couldn't turn down that road. Right, he made a sharp turn, and I sort of guessed where he was going and turned <laughs> down that road and <laughs> saw him pull up. It is driveway, and I wasn't gonna do anything, but I just drove by and no, yeah, stared slowly. Oh my like, god! I know where you live. I know where don't, you live. Don't do that again. I think that's the key. Overkill. <laughs> I, it wasn't necessary well, at all. Like you said, the fact that he was able to like shake shake you in the tail, and the and the fact that you were like, you know what, I'm gonna go down this <laughs> block and over one, and he, I know he's going this way. <laughs> is a perfect example of why you were like maybe i shouldn't be doing this because you're basically in the same mode of like you know a criminal who's just like i'm anticipating what this person's going to do out of fear and i'm going to capitalize on that yeah i mean it could have been he could have like pulled a gun on me or something. yeah totally well that's that's the i i do like passive or like uh intermittent road rage I love it when someone is speeding behind me and they like can't really pass. I will go, I will slow down. I will, it will get to a point where they're like honking and I'll hold it for like a little bit. But then after a while, I just like let it go. And then, you know, they flip me the bird or whatever as they drive by. But like, those are ambulances you're supposed to get on. (laughs) Look, it's not my fault if, uh, you know, (laughs) I need to go somewhere and they're speeding and their lights are on and <laughs> it's hurting my eyes because my windows <laughs> aren't tending. That's always a big thing at driving at night, especially like further out in New Jersey is high beams. People will throw them on at night and just keep oh, yeah. them on. And uh, like if you're close enough, like obviously you just can't look in the rear mirror view because it's just like going to reflect off of that. And there's nothing you can really do because you can't flash them and be like, hey, turn it off. So you ju- I just literally slow down. Like if it's a 40 mile an hour uh, road, I'll slow down to like 30 just so that they pass me. Even if it's just like, oh, you might cause an accident. I'm like, well, I can't see. I'm going night blind. Right. Yeah. People, people, are, people are strange. I believe uh, there's a uh, song about that. There is, um, Mr. Jim, uh, Jim Morrison. Jim Morrison, one of the coolest. Uh, what a cool guy! <laughs> what a cool guy! He's one of those uh, performers who, like, obviously, he died very young and had this like legacy that was built on a like a period of time of his life. That I wonder, like, if he was still alive, like, what would he be like on Twitter? Like, he'd be terrible on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. Like, just listening to his music and some of the interviews, I, yeah, it would just be weird. I, I guess there there's some people who are like that now, but um, who are, like, old and 
have access to the to being online and it's just like right. dang you know the drugs and the lifestyle you live is not what is happening anymore for you yeah it's also weird cuz politics have evolved so oh, yeah. much also so somebody who is you know maybe like a democrat or or a liberal in the 60s might not be anymore it's so like, like <laughs> dennis morrison. miller or some, yeah jim, jim morrison. morrison is a tea party <laughs> You mean President Morrison? President Morrison. He's on Twitter just being like, this libtard cut me off. <laughs> when are we going to take this country back? And people are just like, I loved your music. What happened? And his slogan is people are strange. <laughs> people, yeah, it's on his like Twitter avatar or whatever. And it's just yeah. people are strange. And it's him with like a... Uh, um, stars and stripes mask over his face because he changes right. it whatever event like arab spring it's like green and uh <laughs> during during the coronavirus he's got a mask on you know just staying up top yeah staying updated with folks but yeah uh yeah how else is has the rest of your week been so far on this monday on this Monday, how's your week been so far? On this Monday? <laughs> well, I read the news. I read a lot of the news oh. today, uh, so not good so far. Do you do that like Bad news. sparingly, or you're, you're just like this? Today is the news day, and I won't. I just won't look for a little bit. I usually don't look, but you know, on your phone, on the iPhone, you swipe oh, yeah. left, and all the news is just there. <laughs> Just all like, the headlines yeah and it's up, always Mark? bad it's always bad news there's <laughs> it's it's three like bad news stories and then it's one that's like what to watch while you're home <laughs> <laughs> while you're forced to stay home here are shows you should binge watch uh, yeah i have that okay, on buzzfeed or whatever <laughs> thanks buzzfeed you're still a website in 2020 <laughs> You're not getting uh, updates from the Huffington Post about uh, clickable links and lists. <laughs> yeah. Uh, simpler times, right? I like those ones that are like uh, something like 10 things you didn't know about Star Wars. And it's like they're all very <laughs> basic stuff. <laughs> Luke and Leia were simple. It's, it's basically like, yeah, 10 man, things. Yeah, man, we all knew. <laughs> 10 things you wouldn't know about Star Wars if you never saw Star Wars. Right. It's just like, oh yeah, I know that Luke and Leia are brother and sister. That's... <laughs> yeah. BuzzFeed. The king. King and queen. The king and queens. The kings of queens. Should we get started? All right, let's get started. Let's get started.